What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Stefan here from App Stuff, and in today's video, we have another awesome feature that was revealed in WWDC 23 with the addition of pie charts to the Swift Charts API. So let's go ahead and check it out. So we're gonna be starting off with this setup here, guys, where we just display a bar chart of some macro data, and I'm just gonna do a quick run through of the code. So we have this data structure here for our macro data. It's pretty simple. We just have a name and a value, and then here we create an array of those values. We have protein, carbs, and fats, and each one of them has an associated value. And then we just have you know some text here to say what we're displaying on the chart, and then this is the chart itself. It's literally just like eight lines of code where we pass in our macros array that we have up at the top, and we are creating a bar mark for each one of those values. So we can see here that the X value is giving us back the macro value, and then the foreground style is displaying the macro name, which is what we see here. So pretty straightforward. We're just gonna be going over how to convert this bar chart into a pie chart using the new Swift chart API. So we are just gonna change this bar mark to a sector mark, and we are going to change X to angle. And then we're just gonna delete this stacking parameter. And we delete that comma as well. And you guys will notice that that automatically turns into a pie chart. So it's super, super simple and super straightforward. Let's just go ahead and change the height to maybe like 300 or something to give to make this bigger. So that looks really, really good off the bat, guys. And it's just a super easy change. And uh, let's go over how to customize this just a little bit more. So. There's a couple more input parameters I can add to sort of style this chart. So let's add a comma after that angle parameter and we're gonna say angular inset. And let's just give it an angular inset of 1.5. And you guys will notice that that sort of gives me some division between each one of my pie chart sections, which adds a little bit of flair to it. And we can also supply it with a corner radius. So if I do this and maybe pass in like four, you notice that it's gonna round off the edges of my pie chart. So we can style this really nicely. And we can also uh, turn this into sort of a donut chart if we want to, right? So this is like a standard pie chart and it's really simple to do this. We just go here and say inner radius uh, of dot ratio, which is 0 0.618. Yep, add a comma, that's my bad. And you guys will notice that that sort of puts a big gaping hole in the pie chart to sort of make it a donut chart. And that looks really, really good right there. And if you guys wanted to maybe display this like macro thing inside of the middle of that, all you would have to do is wrap this inside of a Z stack. So let's go here and say embed in Z stack. And then, you know, you could put some more text in the center of that chart to sort of customize it even further. So let's go ahead and just paste that in there. And let's maybe make this a V stack. And you guys will notice that that shows up directly in the center of the chart. Uh, you can maybe apply some offset to it or whatever, but it's literally that simple to create a pie chart using the new Swift Charts API, guys. So that's actually gonna wrap it up for this video. It was just really short and sweet. Just wanted to show you guys that new feature that's part of the Swift Charts feature. Uh, I have a bunch of other videos on the new features that Apple just launched in WWDC 23. Check out the one I have on Swift data and we have more coming with maps, scroll views, and a bunch of other awesome stuff. So thanks for watching this one, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.